What's up guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create this really cool glowing text flicker effect. I think it looks insane. And I'm gonna show you how you can do it in a music video context as well. So you're gonna start from a normal clip and then we're gonna go into the effect which is gonna be really useful for your projects. Now let's get into the tutorial. All right, so this is the effect right here that we're gonna recreate. I think it looks really cool. I love the colors. I love the flickering. There's some glow in there as well. So let's get right into it. All right, so first off, we have our clip, of course, but the way we're gonna do this, we're actually gonna turn it off for now. We're gonna focus on creating the text and for it to look good all together. Let's get into it. So to start off, of course, we're going to create our text. We can type command T and then we're going to type liquor. In my case, you can type anything you want really in the text panel. You can adjust the size. I'm going to make the size maybe this big. And then we're going to go to align and we're going to click on this and this and it's going to align it horizontally and vertically as well. I'm going to change the anchor point of my text, which means that let's say we scale it up gonna get animated like this that's not really what we want so we're gonna press y change the anchor point to the middle i don't think in our tutorial we're gonna make use of that but that's just an habit i always keep that's usually the standard for how you animate it now let's go about creating our actual flicker effect it might seem intimidating if you haven't really been in the text properties, but it's actually pretty simple. Just follow along with me, grab the knowledge and relax. Let's get into it. So we're going to type this arrow right there and we're going to go to animate right here. We're going to go to animate right here and then click on opacity. That is going to allow us to change the opacity of the text and make it flicker. As you can see, everything is moving the same amount, all of the letters. We're going to change that by going to range selector one and then let's do something like, yeah, and 53%. Before we go on with this tutorial, I need to put you on to our brand new bundle, which is the Ultimate Brain Rot Bundle. With over 60 presets, the Ultimate Brain Rot Bundle allows you to get those brain rot and those distortion edits all in a matter of seconds. All of the presets are drag and drop. We even have some bonus animated elements in there that you can drag and drop and get those brain rot edits that you're gonna see from artists like Che, Osama Sun, etc. If that interests you, it'll be available in a description with a discount code just for sticking around and supporting the channel. Now let's get right back into the tutorial. And then we're gonna animate the offset before we do that though you see the opacity thing right here just make it something like 40 percent. that's the lowest it's gonna be and then as you can see when we change that you get this effect we're also gonna go to advanced and then check on randomize order as you can see it's gonna randomize it and really get this neon glow kind of effect so afterwards so now we're gonna animate the offset effect so let's do alt click on the stopwatch alt click and now we're gonna get into the expression tab when we click on there we're gonna make it wiggle so let's type wiggle and then we're gonna do parentheses we're gonna do 24 so that means 24 times per second it's gonna wiggle after the comma this is the actual value in which we're randomizing it so let's do what if we did like 50 percent let's try that so now, as you can see, we already get a cool flicker effect. And now we're going to add something else to our flicker effect. We're going to animate the fill brightness. Now let's look at what we have. That looks pretty cool. See, that wasn't so hard. So we're just going to animate it a bit further. So let's go to the animate section once again. And we're going to go to fill color. And then we're going to select opacity. And now if we drag this down, as you can see, you get this even cooler effect because the fill is animated in there. I think it looks really nice. So now that we're done with the flickering effect, we're gonna add a glow effect to it as well. So we're gonna go to effects and presets and we're gonna type glow. You can use the default glow if you want. It is absolutely free, but I'm gonna use the universe glow from the universe suite. So let's drag it on to our text layer. We can do, let's say like 0 0.5 maybe. 0 0.6 can work and now it's gonna flicker just like that. Pretty cool. Now we're gonna duplicate those layers three times, two, three, so the one in the middle, let's call it flicker middle. The one that's on top, let's call it flicker top. And then this one, let's call it flicker down. There we go. That way we can know and differentiate the different text layers. Now that's down, we're going to go to the Y property because we're going to clone them and put them like this. But you want to make sure that it's by the same amount or else it's not really going to look good. Let me show you a trick. As you can see, the one that's down, it says 540. So one thing that we can do, let's just make it 540 flat just so that it's not annoying. And now what you can do is do shift plus in there and then do 300. So now it's going to add 300 to the value. So now, as you can see, it is down. Why it's important is that we can do the same thing, but minus 300 
300 for the one on top and we can assure ourselves that it's going to be the same amount and that it looks good so let's say this one is 540 we're going to do minus 300 now 240 and now everything is set up right and now we're going to create the solid you know like the purple color in the middle and it's also going to affect the color of our clip by blending modes don't get confused just follow me let's get into it all right so we're going to create this solid this is the color that i chose but we're going to do command y and then create that solid we're going to call it bg for background and then we're going to put it right under now to blend everything a bit better we're gonna pre-compose those three texts pre-compose and let's call it flicker text and we're gonna add a drop shadow to it that's pretty cool let's increase the distance a little a little increase the softness and now it kind of makes it pop out more now we're gonna stylize our scene so we're gonna add a vignette also with some grain as well it's gonna make it look a bit better let's get into it so we're going to create a new adjustment layer for that. There we go. First off, we're going to add some noise. Let's type noise, put it on the adjustment layer, and then we're going to increase it. 15% looks pretty cool. We're going to check off use color noise, and then we're going to add a vignette as well. Let's do CC vignette. Then we can increase it to something we like. There we go. That looks cool. I think I'm going to put the vignette before though. There we go. Now we get this really cool effect. I think I'm going to make the noise less intense though. Let's do like 10%. There we go. And now we're going to put the background layer to soft light. That way now we're going to see the clip below. So now as you can see, we can see the clip under, which looks pretty cool. One thing we forgot to do is we need to animate in those text effects. So, so we're going to go to flicker top at the beginning, make it 0%. We're going to go a frame after. We're going to make a kind of flicker effect. So one frame after we can do something like 35, something like that. Let's go back 0% and then a frame further. Let's make it closer to 100, 80%. And then let's do like 18 and then 100%. Let's look at what we have. As you can see, it flickers in it looks pretty cool we might add an extra flicker right here let's do zero percent let's look at what that looks like that looks pretty cool so now we can paste those command c and just a frame after do command v and paste it we can select the keyframes do command c and then command v a frame further and then so on and so forth for the third one that way it comes in just like that there we go now we get this Now, since we want to put the focus onto the actual text, we're going to add some blur to our background and make it disappear as well. Let me show you how to do that. So we're going to go to effects and presets, type Gaussian blur and apply it to our clip below. We're going to keyframe this at the beginning. We're going to leave it to zero. And then when it, uh, when the text comes in, let's say there, we're going to make the blurriness something like 80. There we go. Let's look at what that looks like. And then we're also going to keyframe the opacity. So select the clip. Let's do T. Keyframe it at the beginning. Press U to see all of the properties are animated. So as you can see, we have blurriness right here. So at the 12th frame, we're going to make it 0%. I think I'm just going to drag it on and then have it really disappear more and more as it goes on maybe like 33 percent at the end yeah let's drag it to the end let's look at what we have there we go looks super fire and then we're also gonna animate the vignette in so at the beginning we're gonna make it zero percent and then at the end we're gonna make the vignette pretty intense i kind of don't like how it animates in i think we're gonna just make the vignette go at the beginning there we go. And it is a bit too intense. Let's tone it down a bit. 145 should do. And then we can add a slight scale to the text as well. We can start off with maybe like 97 and at the end, let's do 103. Now let's look at our final result. So that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching until the end. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video and if it brought you any value, please consider subscribing. It really helps. And also, please let me know in the comments what type of tutorials you would like me to cover next. Also, if you're looking to invest in your edits, save time, improve your workflow overall, we have some really fire editing packs at friendlyfiles.ca. It'll be available in the description with also our brand new bundle, the Ultimate Brain Rock Bundle.
Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.